Hi there, I'm Glenn Williams. I'm an F&D engineer in central London. And here's the third of my video podcast that I wanted to do under the banner of A Beginner's Guide to Diversity. So far, I've covered race, I've covered migration, and now I want to jump into the tricky subject of diversity and inclusion. And in two parts, try and explain what it's about and how do we improve it at work. So what is diversity at work? Well, take a look around and ask yourself, does your workplace reflect the wider world outside? How diverse is your team? How many women are there, or people of colour, or gay, or with a disability, or with learning difficulties, or neurologically different? Also, ask yourself, who has the best jobs? Who is making the important decisions? And how did it get like that? We've all heard the old worn-out excuses. A woman can't do my job. People of colour don't really want to be managers. You need to have a PhD to be of any use at my place. I don't care what the woke brigade say, this is a young man's job. But how true are those statements? Are they just things that we've got used to believing? We can't escape the fact that times are changing. Migration to Britain has been going on for nearly 12,000 years. See my previous video. And most people accept the fact that we live in an affluent and multicultural society. So we just have to learn to get along. Not just out and about, round a pub. It has to happen at work as well. Here are some good reasons why we need diversity at work. Diversity brings a wider variety of perspectives. It helps creativity and innovation. It creates better decision making and increases productivity. It's proven to increase profits and it helps the company's reputation. It helps faster problem solving and it attracts and reflects a diverse customer base. Employees engage better, which improves employee turnover. It creates a bigger talent pool and improves hiring results. And it avoids legal challenges of discrimination. Basically, it's against the law to discriminate against anyone because of their sex, religion, disability or any other personal characteristics. So that's what diversity and inclusion at work is about and perhaps why it's a good idea. But how do we go about improving that at work? Well, that's my next video.